um, we um, we took benefit from the uh, original impulse project, uh, which already included the, uh, the application by the municipality of Ravenna, which is a, a important and a big municipality in our region and applied the impulse uh, tools and uh, uh, okay, provided a very good uh, application and demonstration at the municipal, municipal level. Uh, we asked ourselves uh, how we could uh, optimize uh, an application at the regional level. And so we, um, we decided to involve as associated partners, both our regional government and the cluster build, which is the regional associations uh, matching uh, innovative companies and uh, research centers of our high technology network, the regional high technology network. And uh, it was very coherent with our role as a regional agency for innovation and uh, um, the development of the, the sustainable development of the territory. Uh, so, um, we decided also to focus on one specific typology of buildings, uh, which was the public residential buildings. Uh, they, uh, this uh, is composed by a regional stock of uh, over 6,500 buildings. So we are uh, talking about big numbers at the regional level. And uh, we decided to develop the application of Inputs Plus uh, considering 50 buildings. Uh, in, and uh, in order to have, uh, and uh, managing this in order to have a high level of uh, uh, representation of uh, the total stock of uh, uh, 6,500 buildings, uh, uh, residential buildings. We really decided for this typology because uh, we uh, tried to optimize the connection with the, uh, the regional database of buildings managed by the Emilia Romagna region, which was dedicated to residential public buildings. And uh, we also uh, tried to uh, work on the big numbers in order to stimulate the innovation ecosystem, the possible future solution for managing uh, uh, big numbers or big uh, uh, groups of interventions for innovation of buildings. Um, this was uh, uh, the, um, we used the four main criteria for, class, uh, uh, for, for uh, organizing the, the, the clustering uh, phase, uh, and uh, we selected the, this four criteria, the year of construction, you, the useful energy area, the construction type, and the heating system of the building. Uh, each threshold for each criteria was, uh, uh, um, was set uh, um, under technical reasons. So for example, uh, the year of construction before or after 1976 was before because the uh, 1976 is the year uh, of the first uh, law here in Italy uh, defining uh, energy performance for public buildings. So there is a clear difference because uh, be for the buildings before that date and after that date. Uh, this is the distribution uh, by the other, uh, other uh, four criteria, okay? And uh, we uh, defined 12 clusters and we defined the 12 ambassador buildings. These are the ambassador buildings. They are very different from all the four different criteria, year constructions of type or type of constructions. We also take benefits for with uh, synergies with the other past projects on regional policy instruments because other past projects, for, for example, uh, Sherpa, MED project or Lemon uh, already um, developed uh, um, energy audits and uh, feasibility studies for uh, some of the ambassador buildings. We, so we would, we, we would be able to have this kind of uh, uh, analysis already developed with the, the analysis we developed using uh, directly uh, inputs plus opportunities. Um, this, uh, we built also the different scenarios for retrofit, uh, starting from minor retrofit, medium, major, and deep retrofit, uh, adding progressively 
uh, the um, deeper and deeper interventions um, for the interventions. This was the, uh, the general uh, application of the general method methodology of the tool. And uh, um, we also, uh, okay, elaborated some uh, figures, some uh, uh, analysis. These are the average uh, figures for uh, the different uh, KPIs. Uh, over the entire sample of buildings. Uh, obviously, if you select a different cluster, you see probably more significant uh, comparisons between them. And, but you, you just can see from these very big average uh, numbers that you can uh, do some uh, useful uh, comparisons. And also you can see that the simple payback period is uh, very, very high. So these remarks the need for proper financial schemes and the proper uh, public or private contribution. So the relevance of the also of the financial scheme uh, tool. Um, we also we directly involved in our application all the nine territorial agencies managing the uh, the uh, public residential building stock. And uh, we asked the technicians to uh, develop their own uh, plan for innovation or to simulate their own plan. Okay, so they uh, find they found very useful the opportunity to, to change all the uh, um, all the parameters in order and to verify how changing the parameters of the tool uh, can uh, define according to the, to the different needs and different opportunities for financing the interventions, the, uh, the overall uh, plan. Obviously, our main uh, reference policy instrument is the regional energy plan, uh, and the, uh, the main target is the uh, the target is set for the public buildings for a renovation rate of 3% of floor area of public buildings. And uh, under this uh, general target, uh, uh, all uh, our the, the technicians will monitor all the opportunities that will arise in the next future for financing uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, developing a proper energy renovation uh, plan for their territorial agency. Uh, we applied uh, with the tool, okay? These are some uh, screenshots from the tool, the list of building, the uh, overall uh, figures for year by year, okay? And uh, mm, we also applied the financial scheme assessment. We uh, may, made a, a study, an analysis for defining the most appropriate um, interest uh, rates Okay, and all the parameters uh, on the down on the left, you can see the uh, graph for the one of the two hypotheses, the overall loan, and uh, the uh, on the right side, the other hypothesis that is the uh, loan year by year. Okay, and uh, okay, finally, uh, we, are, um, we are very um, satisfied with our application. And we see that uh, may, I think many good opportunities will arise because uh, uh, this fits very well with uh, long-term uh, and the very ambitious targets that all uh, uh, public administration are setting now and our region is too, because our region is uh, politically committed to reach carbon neutrality by 2050. So long-term and very ambitious targets that uh, involve also the renovation of the entire stock of public building, not a single interventions. Also, we have expectation of interest for this tool because of the dynamics of the so-called renovation wave and the, uh, the dynamics and the possibility of investments that will arise in the next months from the new uh, structural funds or for uh, the now our national uh, recovery plan. Okay, and uh, also we have a very good infrastructure because uh, territorial infrastructure, because we have the 
uh, the majority of uh, the municipality, you can see in the maps that uh, already joined in the past years the covenant of measures and have their local action plans for renovating public buildings. And also they are joining more and more the new covenant of measures towards 2030. So we think that uh, this tool will uh, uh, raise more and more interest in our territory, also in the, uh, in the field of a kind of open innovation because working on big numbers means that you have to include data in the tool, uh, you have to invest in it uh, and uh, you have to, to see the benefits of possible uh, uh, business models about uh, uh, managing uh, big data about the buildings and the renovation of buildings. Um, that's all from my side uh, and thanks from our Impulse Plus team.